The very reason why Singapore was chosen as the destination is that uh, the Singapore government uh, is very aggressive in promoting that country as the global media city by the year 2015. supposed to go to the airport on that day. The parents were so concerned about their kids. Then uh, there was this photo shoot happening there with all the faces smiling. We boarded the flight. And there were also students who were very much interested to take a photograph of them. The city was very clean. We were surprised to see such clean roads. The person uh, who was guiding us telling that they charge 300 rupees if you spit. So that clean a city and you're not supposed to smoke in public places. So many international studios like ILM etc. are opening their production houses in Singapore. That's why we thought that Singapore would be a most ideal location for the students to visit now. Got down on the bus and we entered Playway Studio as a group. Inside, I had the lucky chance of meeting Siddha Jain, the founder. This was the first time in my career that I was entering an international studio. I was excited. Siddha Jain was very comfortable with us and he explained about the history of the company and also about their future and present projects. There was this huge three panel touch screen with an interactive 3D game that you can play with your laptop, joystick or even your mobile phone. December 4th morning we started to this Singapore Discovery Center where we first were guided to the SAFTI, their uh, military army, that, that is the military training arm. video which explains about the development of Singapore and future plan of Singapore. To Sentosa. Sentosa is an awesome place. We had good fun there. When we went there, we travelled by the town car. Um, it's called the Cable Car. It's to Sentosa Island, which is the most entertaining island with lots of features like 3D theatres, 4D theatres and the underwater world and the more exciting show named as Songs of the Sea which is an amazing show with laser effects and aquatics. On the fifth morning we went to the Singapore Science Centre which actually was a very good place for the students to observe and learn a lot of things with respect to sound, with respect to visuals, with respect to optical illusion. There were so many examples where even though there were kids as well as elders, students enjoyed that they played, that there were so much of experiments where they can experiment it themselves and it was a very nice experience for them. After completion of this science center, we went for this night safari in the evening. And uh, in this night safari, we first had a small show which was done uh, with the animals and uh, the participants were the audience themselves. That is, there was a very trained, uh, very much trained lady with her, um, with a set of people. On December 6th, we went to one more studio which is the Scroll Studios which specializes in creating 2D animation. The people there were really good. We went in two different batches because they were not able to accommodate 25 people at a time. The person was too good. He first took us and gave us a demonstration of what is it they do in Scrawl Studios. We were interacting with each other and we were all filled with dreams of becoming one of those animators sitting and busily working in their chairs. Universal 
Studios it was a great treat. attractions were The Lost World and Ancient Egypt, which were named after the two Hollywood blockbuster movies. Surprisingly, of course, we anticipated that students will have a lot of satisfaction through this tool and they would treat it as a value addition apart from the course. But what has happened to our surprises, in fact, many of the students who have gone back uh, are now telling why not I get settled in a country like Singapore or even let me explore possibilities of going to countries like UK, US, Canada and then settle my life. Finally, the tour was a great success. The students thanked the management for providing them the opportunity to meet the industry professionals.